All right, what's good, everybody? It's your man Akeem, and welcome to today's vlog. We are continuing my rankings coming into the NFL draft. Today, I'm going to talk about the fullbacks. I got a pretty interesting group I have for my top five. At number five, Charles Clay from Tulsa. He's an outstanding receiver who caught over 2,000 yards receiving. He can even play the H-back or the tight end position because of his height, six foot three. I think he's an outstanding receiver and a good asset for any team that picks him. At number four, Jamie Harper of Clemson. Yes, it's a little bit of a surprise because he's considered a running back, but he weighs 235 pounds at six foot zero. He's an outstanding back. He was part of a thunder and lightning combo with Andre Ellington. Ellington was more of the speedster and and Harper was more of the power back, the punisher. He averaged over five, four yards a carry, and he's a great back. Plus, during his high school career, he was considered a fullback. If he bulks up just a little bit, like 5, 10 pounds, he will be an outstanding player. Plus, he's a pretty good blocker. At number three, Anthony Sherman from Connecticut. For two consecutive seasons, he had led a running back to rush for over 1,000 yards. In 2009, he, had two running back, he helped two running backs rush over 1,000 yards. Andre Dixon and Jordan Todman. And then Todman again this season. He's an outstanding blocker. I believe he's an, he's an excellent blocker. I believe that he's the best blocker coming into the NFL draft at fullback. At number two, Stanley Havili of USC. Arguably, he's the most versatile player coming into the NFL draft as a fullback. He's a great player with great hands. He's a great receiver. He had over 1,000 yards receiving at USC. The only thing I'm a little bit concerned is, is his size. 225 pounds at fullback, that's pretty like low in weight. He needs to get to at least 240 pounds. Or he can increase his speed and become a tailback. He runs a 4740. If he runs around around a 4445 range, I think a good team a, a team will pick him to play a running back. At number one, Owen Marisek of Stanford. I believe that he's the most reliable player coming into the NFL draft out of all the players. Why? Because he plays defense. He plays both sides of the ball. He's also the Stanford star linebacker on the defensive side. He's like Bronco Nagurski, who is a legend in college football. He's an outstanding player, and he is very reliable. He will play just about anything a, a a coach would tell him to play. He's just reliable and dependable. Unselfish player. Plus, he's pretty smart. In order for you to go to Stanford, you have to be a smart person. And he is a smart guy. Great player. For the next couple of blogs, I want to talk about the offensive linemen, beginning with my tight ends. Thank you for watching today's video. I'm your man, Akeem. Be easy.